This air is on a use it or lose it basis by the council. It's down to all motorhomers to give it a try. If you are just passing through, call in, give it a try and see what you think. It's great for the motorhoming family, with lots for the kids to do. A boating lake, trampolines, miniature railway, all within five minutes walking. If you fancy an early morning dip, the swimming pool opens at 8 o'clock. This is the view from the back of the air, looking up towards the main promenade road. Overnight parking on the air will cost you £5 per night. There's no need to worry if it's bad weather. In the complex, there's a five screen cinema. Directly next door to the air is the Salter's Wharf Toby Carvery. Don't forget to call in one morning for their all you can eat breakfast. Well worth a visit. Directly in front of the air, you'll find the Island Cinemas Complex and the Tempin Bowling. New for this year is the seven parking spaces for motorhomes that are up to eight meters in length. Within a two minutes walk you will find the YMCA swimming pool and the new triangular grill, as well as the station coffee bar. Although St Anne's is built alongside Blackpool, located three miles away, the much more peaceful atmosphere couldn't be more different. It was developed to cater for holiday makers from around the country earlier in the last century and did it very successfully. Take a stroll through the water gardens, down to the beach cafe, for your morning cup of coffee. While you're having your tea and cakes, the kids can run wild on the sand dunes or run down to the sea, which seems to be miles away. The kids will be spoilt for choice on what to try next and with major banks and supermarkets as well as fish and chip shops 10 minutes walk away you could say it's all on your doorstep. There isn't many airs that have a cinema showing all the major films outside your motorhome for £3.
it still attracts visitors today with new family attractions. The town centre's spacious square has recently undergone major investment and regeneration. So there you are, it's now down to us. If we want to prove that motorhomers will use council provided services, then come on everybody, let's use them.